all the prayers of these hundreds of millions of people that would be projected to Jesus, what's happening to those prayers now you're incarnated? And what happens when you pray? Do you, do you answer them? Or do you just say, oh, that's my issue. Um, firstly, the majority of people who are praying to Jesus actually believe me to be God. So in that case, all of their energy actually goes to God, not to me. So that's the first thing to understand. All of their energy is actually flowing to God, which is appropriate. That's where it really needs to flow. Um, obviously, I do feel lots of different emotions from people who are wanting my assistance. And in, in my sleep state, I give a lot of that assistance now. Um, and, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of truths, too, that I can't speak about at this moment that are difficult, would be difficult for you to understand about multidimensional space. And... and, and that allow, that allow me to do things concurrently in different places. Um, but the main thing to understand is that if a person longs for you, then you will, if they, you feel their desire is sincere, you will try to help them. And so I do try to, do, to help them too. Um, but I'm no different than you. Right? So I'm going to try to help them because I want to help them, I love them. Just like you would want to try to help them if the same feeling was given to you. But the majority of them are actually, um, and, and at times in the spirit world, um, I get a little, um, particularly in my state now, I'm still not in the state back at, at, at a oneness state, in that bliss state, because of the emotions that are still within me. I feel quite uncomfortable with the projection of emotions. So at Christmas time and Easter time at times, and I usually have a lot of solitude. Um, and even when I was in the spirit world, every single year at Christmas time and Easter time, I would retire to my own to my own home um, because I, I, I just didn't feel it was right accepting all of that emotion from people when it needs to be directed to God so um, for that reason I don't celebrate even my own birthday and never have um, even from the first century um, and a lot of the celebrations that tied into my life are actually tied to so um, so I obviously don't agree with those things. Um, so, uh, 